Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Future Start. And just before the uh, the break, we were talking about what? Talk. Talk about it all. Talk about it all. Ahram. Yeah. So we talked about how um, um, it, it's really convenient because the azan just ca uh, just came on just after. Yeah, and we were talking about namaz as well. Yeah, and. Um, and we're talking about Tawbeer of Ahram and we're talking about how how when when normally people just do Allahu Akbar and don't think about it but there's uh, there's an important way of doing it yeah that we hold our what um, um, Hussein can you demonstrate it for us so you hold it um, you hold your arms up yeah um, your palms facing forward yeah, so, and and then say it, but um, and don't and don't make it a movement when you're saying it. Yeah, say it when um, as you say it, you're still in that moment. You're still, and then and then <coughs> carry on. And this goes f um, goes for the rest of your namaz as well. Yeah, and when you're doing it, to when whenever you're saying Allahu Akbar, yeah, your um, or whenever you're talking, yeah, to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that you're still. Yeah, the only w uh, only time you're supposed to be talking and moving in salah is what time? What uh, time in the salah do we move and talk at the same time? Uh, when uh, when we're coming up from such. Yeah. Do any of you know what we say when we're coming up? Yeah, bihuli lahi wa quwati Yeah, so um, so this is this is the only action when you're uh, you're standing up and you're talking about well. the rest of the other actions we need to think about it, that we're not m moving at that at that time when we're speaking as well yeah so make sure um that we uh, that you remember this yeah because it's really important because what you're doing you're um, you're supposed to be doing it every day and 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 we're gonna go over more rules of salah as well, hopefully in the future as well. So, can Mr. Can you start off with a loud salawat? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa anjil farjah. Awaiting to await for the reappearance of Imam Al Mahdi is highly recommended right from Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, till Imam Zaman himself. There are plenty of traditions traditions to prove this. The the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The best deed a mile of my nation is to wait for Faraj, Imam al Mahdi. One who waits for the reappearance and Faraj of Imam Mahdi is like one, the one who gives his blood in the way of Allah. If we, if we refer the Islamic books under the title of Intazar Faraj, we can find plenty of traditions about Intazar Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ala So thank you, that's just talking about the um, so some of the things that we've already spoken about about intazar and um, waiting for the Imam but as a as a way of doing it as well, yes? And Mohsin, um, you've got the next one, so we can start Mohsin Allah Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Recommended du'as during occultation. There are many du'as recommended to be recited during the occultation, of which some of them are recommended by Imam himself, such as Zirat al Yasin, Dua i Istaghasya, Dua i Nab. Nadba, Dua e Ahad, Dua e Faraj, Zakat e Sadbar, etc. Tawa in tradition is it is said to that during the occultation a person who waits for him should be pious. He should have a firm belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet and Imam. He should, he should refrain from sin and should try to protect the religion and belief of the people. They should try to guide people towards the right path so that the ground is ready for his reappearance. Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farjum. Thank you, Mosin. So Mosin is talking about more detail about the action of it. Yeah, getting it, getting it done during this intazar. Yeah, 
what do any of you know any 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 <coughs> items on that Allah talks about um for the you have have ha, having to change your condition for you to to change your condition uh, what's that again do you know any other ayah of the Quran about Allah talking about you changing your condition? Uh, by condition, do you, uh, could, uh, could like you include like by changing like your religion, like like not changing your religion. Yeah. What do you mean by condition? About the state you're in, yeah. About Allah talking about do any do any of you know ayah about Allah talking about your condition that you're in now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, about to changing it. No. About talking about the change, any of you know, because there's an ayah of the Quran where it says, Allah does not change the state of a nation until they change themselves. Yeah, what, how does that link in with um, this topic? Uh, it, it linked in because of the Quran. Because they, uh, f uh, when Imam Mahdi does come, he will change the world, and he, so Allah is just saying, like, if you do not change yourself, so if you're not the perfect Muslims that you're supposed to be, then Imam, um, Imam, the Imam wouldn't come down and like change the world if you're not ready. Does that make sense? It's, uh, it's close, yeah. But he's talking about Allah, you, um, your nation, your your country, your. Um, your tribe, your family, or whatever, yeah. Allah does not change their conditions. Allah does not change their um, their status. Allah does not change their wealth. Allah does not change their health. Allah does not change their authority or anything like any any condition that they're in. Allah does not change it until they change themselves. Yeah. What does that mean? That you have to strive for in your own community to, for change, yeah? To make it better, yeah? Make it better for other people and, may, um, and, and not just stay back and wait it out. Yeah, you gotta be doing something. There's, co there's people in the community that complain about um, things in their community but what you should tell them is what are you doing to better your community then why don't you do that you, you, you think it will improve it why don't you do it instead of just complaining about it yeah these things we uh, we need to um, ad ad uh, adopt yeah and um, take on board because Allah will not change the state of um, of, of your a mosque community Allah will not change um, its state until you go and make some changes yourself. Then, ev then everyone around you will become interested in Islam. Then, then you, you, then your youngers will um, will continue going to um, going to the mosque because they find it interesting. Not because they're forced to go. Yeah. So Allah will not change your state until you change it yourself. Yeah, this is a really <coughs> important message, and it links so much in with the topic because the Imam will never come, will, 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 will never come towards us until we change our states, so we are ready for him. Yeah, uh, and um, I mentioned this before, but when um, Imam was saying, "Alayhi salam," was keep go um, going out to. Um, to tell um, Yazid's army to not do this, he always used to preach to them. But he told, um, but they would bash and make noise and wouldn't listen to Imam Hussein. And then he, Imam Hussein one day came out and said, "You will never listen to me because of the haram in your stomach." Yeah, what does that mean? Because of all the um, bad things that, um, because of all the um, haram stuff they've ate. Yeah. Not only with the haram stuff they've consumed, but what they've consumed by their um, ears as well, what they've heard, and what they've done by their hands as well. Yeah, all these other things factor in. Yeah, and if we don't change this state and this condition, yeah, then Allah will not change you. Ch 
change um, the state of your community and then what will happen? You're not ready for the Imam. Yeah? So they, these are all things that we need to do and these all factor into this intazar that we need to do while the uh, Imam is not here. So this is a massive duty is um, this, ma this is a massive duty to do while the Imam is not here. So many people think that we, we are here, sitting here, waiting for the Imam to come. That's all we need to do. But the most, the most time, um, the most things that we need to do are in this period. Yeah? So this is the main, um, um, main message of today. Yeah, to all the people at home as well. It's to do your part, do what you need to do. Yeah, like what did Mukhtar do at his time for his Imam to make his Imam smile. What did he do? He took revenge. <laughs> I'm not saying now for all of you to go out and, and do something stupid, but um, you, you need to follow that um, uh, f follow that message of doing doing it for your Imam. Going out to your mosque, changing your mosque, doing um, because a really big issue with Shia Muslims is what their Quran. Yeah, what, uh, um, what 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 did the Holy Prophet say about the Quran and Ahlul Bayt? That these both things that we need, not um, not just um, not just Ahlul Bayt, what Quran and Ahlul Bayt. Yeah. And what have um, what has, um, some Shia have done? They've just taken Ahlul Bayt and left Quran. And what has um, the um, a, a Sunni brothers done? Just took Quran and left Ahlul Bayt. But we need both of them. Yeah, and um, and um, the uh, one issue um, with uh, with Shia Muslims today is what the Quran. This is even an issue for me. It's an issue for um, everyone that we're not reading enough. Um, and we don't know even how to how to read properly, yeah. And uh, and uh, th this could be the start of your change, yeah. Getting people just to learn Arabic properly, learn how to read the Quran properly, yeah. And um, and you'll see then you'll see slowly how Allah changes the state of of uh, the condition around you, yeah. Because you're changing, then you see it slowly happen. Yeah? So I hope this message has gotten to everyone today and Hussein is gonna continue. So can we start with Hussein off the last salaw? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farjah. Moments of pondering on Imam Muhammad al Mahdi alayhisam. Today, the entire world asking the man whose reappearance is the ultimate wish of mankind. He is the infallible Imam of our age. Imam Mahdi Islam, whose justice sh shall fill every nook and cranny of the world. But those who are truly awaiting their Imam Islam, do not content themselves with just praying and shedding tears. We must believe that Imam Mahdi Islam beholds us even if we are deprived from seeing him with our eyes. We must know that the revo revolution of Imam al-Mahdi as the greatest change throughout the whole history of mankind shall take place only after his steadfast companions are gathered, gathered round, companions who would be ready to sacrifice their souls for the fulfillment of the sacred ambition of their Imam Islam, have we prepared ourselves for such a day? Who knows? Perhaps tomorrow will be time for his advent. But really, what should we do to be among those who are truly awaiting his advent and those who are preparing the ground for his coming? So the what? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa so thank you for that Hussein and I hope this message is um, now given to all of the people at home yeah that we on this time waiting for the Imam yeah we're just not sitting here and, and just um, just doing nothing we're doing something we're going out to do something because 
at the end of the day Allah will not change your condition until you change yourself yeah so hope we've gotten that message across to the people and I hope um, we've took, uh, looked inside ourselves as well yeah and taken this message as well and adapted it in our lives as well here yeah, the people around me today yeah I hope they've adapted that and the people at home as well yeah because at the end of the day the Imam do you want to be do you want to be there to help the Imam or not this is what it comes um, comes down to and we need to be ready there we need to be ready for him yeah so thank you for joining me on today's show yeah hope you've enjoyed it I hope people as well have learned a lot from today's show and hopefully we get to talk more about this um, topic as well in the future yeah and we'll see you next week same time same place on Hadai TV but until then assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh